The new Supercell game, Squad Busters, is launching today, and you guys can pick this game up if you use the QR code on the screen or my link in the description. You will start off the game with an additional 5,000 gold. Let's go over what this game is about and what I think of it so far. So this game is PvP. You go up against a bunch of other players, and what you do is your goal overall is to collect as many gems as you can, and the person at the end with the most gems is going to be the winner, but it does it with a little bit of a twist. There are different types of game modes that it's going to spin at random that can give you different sources of gems on the map. So that's basically how it is, at least starting out. There might be some different things on down the line. If we take a look here at Squad Journey, uh, I'm actually close to opening up the next map. So when I open up the next map or when I unlock the next map, it does unlock more characters for me to potentially collect and then more battle mods. So basically more game modes and uh, we'll see what all those end up looking like a bit later on. But for now, I do just have the standard starting map which that standard starting map is a green world here as you can see these are all the starter characters i still actually am missing a couple of these the barbarian king and dynamite so i still have a couple of those to collect and here are all the different battle mods that could potentially be spun so these are like the different game modes for how you get different gems for example the loot goblin rush there's a bunch of loot goblins running around and if you uh, bust them open you're able to get a bunch of extra loot out of those and then if there's uh gem over or not gem overload actually i haven't played that one i don't think but tree giants uh they i mean it is what it is it's giant tree giants running around the map and if you can break one open they're tanky but if you can break one open they spawn a ton of gems Double Trouble is really fun. I usually do really well in that one. So Double Trouble, if you pick a troop, it automatically gives you two of that troop instead of just one. And then, of course, there's a few more other ones. And then as we see, and there's going to be even more as we unlock more maps. So basically, the overall goal to uh, upgrading here is you open up your squad. These are the characters that you have. And then, of course, you can see the ones that you get unlocked at different maps. And we can see Desert World. That's the next map for me. And then it looks like at the moment, there's two more maps after that that you can work your way up to and unlock new areas, unlock new characters. But you find your cards and then once you get enough cards, you can upgrade your characters. We see I've got an upgrade here for the goblin. So basically it just merges them. Every troop that you start out with is a baby troop. That's why they look like babies, but you can upgrade them. They'll eventually look uh, like their regular one and then they get a super version and then they get the ultra version. You can kind of see the little outline of it right there, but let's go ahead and upgrade my baby goblins. And uh, there we go. So we can move them up. They're not quite ready to be evolved yet. We just got to keep on collecting cards, but they are upgraded now, which is very cool. So for the chicken, it's the same thing. You start off with these baby chickens. I've got mine upgraded to the classic chicken. And as we collect more classic chickens, we'll be able to eventually upgrade it to super chicken and then ultra chicken. And then in addition to all these, there's actually megas as well. I have not unlocked any megas yet. I do believe there's a mega version of the chicken that looks more like a dragon, but Let's go ahead and jump to a little bit of gameplay before we run an actual match. So just to get a feel for things, this is kind of what the gameplay looks like. This is obviously a practice match. So the goal is you get gold and then you can unlock troops. Let's go ahead and just unlock more chickens here. Uh, you can do free rerolls in the practice. It's no big deal. There we go. So we got two chickens now. They spawn the little hatchling chickens as well. And then we got enough gold. Let's go ahead and try to grab it again so you can kind of see what happens as you get more of the same troop on the field here. Come on, give me a chicken. There we go. So we'll get one more chicken and then you get fusion. So they all kind of merge together into the bigger chicken. And it just already gave me another box. So basically you can keep doing that. So you get more chickens, you run around the map. Basically all you have to do to attack is just stop walking and the troops will engage in whatever's nearby. So we'll use the little running boost here. We'll stop walking and then we'll fight the goblin. So down goes this goblin. We get gold, we get gems. Like I said, usually the... Uh, the goal in the games is always to collect the most amount of gems, so that's the main thing you want. But the gold is so you can unlock other troops. We'll grab the witch now just because. So once you uh, get more things, then you'll just have more different types of troops with you. Let's go over here again. Let's actually get another witch. I believe we can merge the witch now. Nope, no fusion yet. We might need one more. Actually, I'm not 100% sure if I've got the regular witch unlocked yet. That might also be the issue. But yeah, you got all kinds of crazy troops on the battlefield. So in addition to this being PvP, it's also PvE. It's like PvP and PvE at the exact same time. But with that, let's go ahead and jump into an actual match. One last thing before we do actually jump into a match. If you guys do get the game and you decide you're enjoying it and you want to go ahead and buy a few things on it, you actually can go to the shop here. And if you scroll all the way to the right, you can use uh, code Willy here 
to help support the channel or whoever your favorite creator might be. Uh, be sure to type in your favorite creator's code there and support a creator. But let's go ahead and do a match here so you guys could see the actual gameplay. All right, here we go. So it's going to spin up the map on the left, which we only have one map unlocked at the moment. So it's always going to be the same. And then it's going to spin the uh, whatever game mode it happens to be on the right side. And here we go. Took a little longer than it usually does, but we got Pinata Party. Okay. So you guys will get to see the uh, the pinata party here, and basically it is what it sounds like. There's lots of pinatas that kind of open up. I'm gonna start this one with the barbarian. Oh yeah, there's a pinata right off the bat too. That's also pretty nice. And the chests respawn fairly quickly, so this one's just about to come back. You also get spells, so that little bomb that I picked up is technically a spell. Let's go with Colt. So he's gonna help the barbarian for now. I just want to go for a little extra damage early on to pop these pinatas a little bit faster. We'll probably go for the medic next. Yeah, let's go for the medic just to help heal any damage that we happen to get. Can't go that way. He just busted the bridge. All right. You can do a little PvP if you want. People usually try to avoid that, so we'll drop the bomb. Come on. Let's get him down. He's low. And he's going to try to run away. I don't have very many speed boosts at the moment. Almost. Yeah, we got him. See, we busted that guy. That's why he's called Squad Busters. <laughs> You can see him at first place at the moment. We do need to get... Uh, let's get a hog rider here. That's going to help us be a lot faster. So different troops basically give you different buffs. And they're usually pretty obvious. So hog rider gives uh, speed boost, like I just said. Let's go with El Primo. El Primo gives stuns. So that can also be tremendously helpful. Look at all the pinatas we're getting. Take down the goblin. He gives us gold, gives us gems. So PvP is totally optional. And that's why you usually see people running away from it. I'm going to run away from this one. PvP is totally optional as far as, like, trying to actually bust other players. But, uh, that's not always the best way to go. Sometimes you can get lots of gems from it. Sometimes it's best just to stay away. Because you can get plenty of gems and win the matches without ever busting any opponents. Let's go ahead and unlock another troop. We're holding pretty steadily in first. Let's get a goblin so we can actually get more gold a little bit faster. Cool. Let's go for another pinata here. We are... You can see on the left, I've got 35 gems. The next closest person has 21 at the moment. So I need to keep grinding these gems. I need to get more gold so that I can unlock that chest. You can also notice the chests get more and more expensive as you go. How much gold do I have? I have 24 right now. I'm slacking. Come on, I don't have 30 yet. I'm at 29. <laughs> All right, we should have it here. We should also start getting better things. I'm going to go with one of my rerolls here. Dang it. I was hoping for the Archer Queen. We don't have her quite yet. I think that might be the uh, slightly more expensive chest for the Archer Queen. Oh, there's a Golem here. I think we got this. Let's try to bust the Golem. He gives a lot of resources, as you can imagine. And there we go. You can see I used my healing spell there to heal up after that. Look at that. We're raking in the gems now. But that guy in uh, second place is still close. He's really close. Uh oh, I'm in second now. Come on, unlock something good. Where is my Archer Queen? <laughs> I'm not getting my Archer Queen. There's a little bit of luck involved in these for sure. Oof, that wasn't nice. All right, come on. Open, open, open the Golem. Thank you. Golems are huge. Let's take another one. We're losing some troops though. You can see the squad's definitely getting smaller. But it's worth it. There's a baby dragon. Let's go with the witch. Oh, the archer queen was there. I didn't even see it. I clicked so fast. I'm trying to get gems. It's wrapping up. Oh, I'm going to lose. Get the baby dragon. Get the pinata. First place. I don't have enough gems. Oh, no. I'm losing it. We got 20 seconds. We can bust all these little troops right here. We'll open this. Get the archer queen out. Get the pinata. I think the pinatas would give more. All this stuff right here. We're just going to chill right here, and I think I think we're okay. Did I get it? I think I clutched it. That was so close. <laughs> First and second, we're going back and forth there. Yeah, we got it by one gem. We beat the ostrich. Beautiful. All right. So you get some rewards, obviously, for winning that. I've got my top five streak still going strong. First place bonus, and we get to open a chest, get some more cards and this is where you gotta unlock your cards to upgrade your troops all right let's see what we got out of here 
Hopefully something good. Something I don't have? Ah, oh, we got Hog Rider. That's, that's good. We need more Hog Rider. And it looks like we can upgrade the Hog Rider as well, which is awesome. So let's do that. Alright, we finally have the regular Hog Rider. And then, of course, you can see we got Super Hog Rider down the line, which doesn't look like the Super Hog Rider from Clash, by the way. It's a different type of Super Hog Rider. And then we got Ultra Hog Rider. Ooh, we got a, a new world reach. That's right, we got the new world unlocked. New characters to find. That's awesome. Very cool. Can't wait to dive into that. Overall, I have been enjoying this game. It has been a lot of fun and uh, definitely looking forward to diving, diving in a bit deeper and getting some more of this new stuff unlocked and giving it a try. I do recommend you guys giving it a try too if you're interested. It is quite a bit of fun. And if you do give it a try, uh, definitely use the QR code or the link down in the description if you don't have it downloaded yet. Because like I said, it gives the bonus gold. Plus, I have the opportunity to get some giveaways if we get enough clicks on the QR code or the link. So be sure to check it out that way and let me know if you guys do give it a try let me know what you think of this game down below so far i'm having fun with it that is gonna do it for this video if you guys want to see more squad busters content coming to the channel hit that thumbs up button down below and i'll get more squad busters videos underway in the meantime i think you guys will like this clash of clans video right here